I always get an emotional pang in my stomach when people talk about the outdoors and how it can fix your mental health. It's a twisting feeling seeing such a frequently used statement that has merit, yet is terribly misleading at the same time. As someone who is trying to destigmatize mental health and show others that they are not alone, it's really hard. I wear a ball cap that reads, be kind to your mind. A simple statement put out there that I have noticed has brought me more attention than I realized would have. And statements follow that promise the sure fix. Innocent and caring statements that would have a greater impact on me before I was brave enough to wear such attire. Statements such as, you just need to read this book if you just go to college or if you just get that job. Some of the same types of statements were the ones that got me outdoors. A walk in nature every day. After three days in the backcountry. Fresh air. Meditation. Grounding. Nature. These will all help. These also didn't help my well-being though. They just got me moving. Caring ideas for the most part, from individuals who very much want it to help, but misguide it and somewhat dangerous in some cases. Most of the statements ending with, and after that, I was able to just throw away my medication. Dangerous. To be clear on this, every aspect of canoe tripping and backpacking in my case, have greatly impacted my overall mental health and well-being positively. Don't get me wrong, it really has. Even so though, I argue that we need to draw a line in that conversation, where we attribute outdoor activities to a great boost and benefit to mental health, but also acknowledge that sometimes you need to seek professional help, and that is a valid path paralleled by, say, outdoor activities. Allow me to explain this side better from my point of view. Multi-day camping has bestowed many gifts upon me and all it has asked in return is that I simply get out and try. I have gained confidence myself, overcome unforeseen challenges, and learned to adapt and flow, no pun intended, with the unexpected. I have come to absolutely love the little mistakes and misadventures that come from navigating on my own. It has given me the world and I have only slightly scratched the surface of where I can and will go with it. I will never go back to only camping once a year for a long weekend, dreaming of exploring far greater. It just won't happen. I love it too much. My only concern is how I dove into it. It wasn't healthy at all. In fact, to be totally honest and blunt with you, it was a last ditch effort to save my life. At a point where I was desperately seeking a reason to continue, I took this idea and held on to it like a drowning person clings to a lifeguard. I was on antidepressants and was promised surefire ways to fix my depression many times before. People from the outdoor community were no different, even with their good intentions. For a person so low, falling through deeper levels of false floors in their depression, those suggestions make it harder to see a way out especially if and when they don't work out in bringing you the peace and happiness that you have been so desperately clawing for. But the outdoors became a beacon of hope that I need it in order to see a new light for tomorrow. My first season of canoe tripping was quite amazing. It was terrifying to go out solo for the first few times and amplified 
by those close to me with their own worries, understandably. The opportunity to challenge myself and experience views I had only dreamed of seeing before was beyond anything I could have ever hoped for. It gave me an enormous understanding that I am capable, and in some way, shape, or form, camping, canoeing, and exploring the outdoors was going to be a larger part of my life because it does make me happy, collect it, and it even felt like I belonged somewhere, finally. Even when I was alone, I belonged. It also taught me something I didn't expect. It gave me the understanding that nothing was going to cure my severe depression and anxiety on its own. Being outdoors didn't give me better sleep or less need for medication. But I did learn to experience the beauty around me while in the throes of panic and in the great depths of depression. There were many days without drive, determination, or motivation, no matter how much I want it to be there. And worst of all, at times, it didn't even seem safe to be alone. Not that I felt like I was a danger to myself, but it felt like I needed to be hyper aware of my safety. Death was watching extra closely and I could feel it. On those days, my gear load was the weight of the world, encumbered and beyond exhausted. Those days were long and heavy. I honestly, looking back, I don't know how I ever continued to carry on. By the end of my first season of canoe tripping, I had learned two extremely important aspects that I need to focus on moving forward. The first is that I want to continue more than anything. Canoeing may be my favorite outdoor activity right now, but there is a world of possibilities to explore and I know I'm going to try everything I possibly can. The second is that my mental health struggles are deeper and harder than I want it to recognize. I need to work on advocating for myself and use everything I have at my disposal in order to move forward. Although highly stigmatized still, I know I must be brave and push to be heard and open about this. Even though the topics may be uneasy, we need to understand that medication and therapy are just as important to the journey for many of us as just simply going outside or going for the walk. They never should be dismissed. And if you combine them with immersing yourself in the wild outdoors, you just might find that it saves you too. Please remember that if you're struggling, you are not alone. It is okay to be struggling and more than okay to seek professional help and support. <laughs>